We have so much to celebrate in Division II, but we're especially proud of our commitment to Make-A-Wish. Division II student athletes have led a 10-year initiative to raise funds and help grant wishes of children with life-threatening medical conditions. Nearly $3 million have been raised, and hundreds of children's wishes have been granted. We play hard, we work hard, and we support others in need. Why? It's simple. Because we care. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, you're tuned in to the Lion's Den, official source of UCCS Sports. As you can see, I am joined by some new friends here on the program. Straight from your UCCS men's soccer team, we have the RMAC Goalkeeper of the Week. For the third time this season already, David Meyer, how are you, sir? I'm doing spectacular. Yeah? Glad to be here, for sure. Like Spencer Davis spectacular? Uh, I mean, pretty spectacular. <laughs> I don't know if that's spectacular. That's but, pretty you know, spectacular. It's pretty, it's, pretty, it's pretty high up there, you know? Great. Well, it's glad fun. to have you on the show. And to my left, we have one of the fiercest defenders here in the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference, Aaron Hafner. How are you doing, Aaron? I'm doing just as spectacular. Davis. Just this spectacular? Any day my goalkeeper's having a good time, I'm having a good time. That yeah. is good uh, team know. dynamics right there. Well, let's go ahead and break down a few things if we could. First, let me ask you how the season is going. Aaron, how, how do you think the season is going so far? I think it's great. We, uh, we stumbled just for a moment there at the beginning of the season, but everything since then has been on the up and ups. We've really figured it out since then, and we're just cogs are turning as a team. We know what's going on. We just beat a couple of really highly ranked national teams and uh, we're firing on all cylinders. So the stumbling has stopped. Amen. I like it. <laughs> all right, and, and David, you see pretty much everything that goes on on the field with your vantage point being the goalkeeper. How's your team looking? I think that we're looking really good. Really yeah? strong. I think that, uh, like Aaron said, at the beginning we took a little bit of a stumble, but I think that we've recovered really well. And uh, I think that this weekend is going to be really big, but I think that we can handle it. Yeah? And so I hope so. A bold prediction. Bold <laughs> prediction. <laughs> All right. Somebody's yeah. a frequent watcher here of the Lions, Dan. I like it. Uh, you know, Dave, you're, you're an upperclassman this year. You're a junior. And Aaron, you're a sophomore this year. And you both came from Pine Creek, played together in high school. Really, first off, Aaron, did that kind of help you come to UCCS and get recruited? Was, you know, knowing that Dave and JJ were here. And then Dave, you know, your brother, JJ's on the team too. Uh, you were the Gatorade Player of the Year had a lot of options but picked UCCS. So really, what was that recruiting process like? And knowing that a couple of high school friends were on it, did that help a little bit? Absolutely. Um, I've been talking with the coaching staff here and obviously I've been talking to Dave about his experiences when I was getting in my later years of high school. And it just was the right place. I knew it was the right place and talking to Dave, having that chemistry already, and JJ as well. He was a, when I was a freshman. He was a senior in high school, so I played with him for a stint. And really, it just made sense to me. And I think the the staff was helpful with me and really brought me on and showed me everything I needed to get done. And it worked out. And here I am. Right here on the Lions Den. <laughs> right here on the Lions Den. And Dave, for you. I mean, obviously, Aaron has been a spectacular defender for multiple oh, yeah. years. I mean, obviously, as a goalkeeper, there's only so much you can do. i got to give a lot of credit to these guys. Mm -hmm. So I'm really glad that he came to UCCS along with JJ because that was kind of up in there, too, because he transferred from Boulder, mm -hmm. and he originally didn't want to play soccer, but I was like, why not come play? And, like, Coach Keen gave us both a good chance. So and it, was, it was awesome to come. And that aspect of playing with your brother and, you know, that, that game against uh, MSU Denver where we got the game-winning goal, like, mm -hmm. How is that as a brother, just being you know so proud of him, and then him on the other side, you know seeing you getting all these goalkeepers of the week? Yeah. How nice is it that you, you're both excelling this year, and especially it's, for his senior year? It's crazy, man. Like obviously we always like dreamed about like playing and like doing well, like from, mm -hmm. like because we're on the same team and stuff. But like him just like showing up and like getting those game-winning goals because that's not his first one of the year too. That he got oh, no. earlier in the season, mm -hmm. which is yeah. pretty big. So, I mean, he's definitely been doing really well. And for it to be his last year, because I don't think he wants to play after college, it's, it's really big. That's awesome. So, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, UCCS, we're very proud about our athletes um, and all of our sports teams. What do you guys, in your guys' opinion, makes UCCS athletics versus different than other, other teams in, in the RMAC? What do you guys do? What do you think makes us a stronger unit in, in our sports teams, especially the men's soccer team? Yeah, so... I would say since day one of my freshman year, I knew like every one of those guys has my back. I could do anything, I could make the biggest mistake, heck, I could score an own goal. But, uh, 
I will not. I promise. <laughs> you <that>. <laughs> <laughs> I do not. Dave, I mean, but yeah, you don't want to score. <laughs> <laughs> That's not gonna but be good. I'll tell you what. I know Dave and everybody. Dave's got my back, literally. Unless you me. score, I don't know if you score. <laughs> but everybody else is gonna pick me right back up, and we're gonna be working hard and getting right after the next one. So. Definitely, I agree with that 100. percent Like. It's not even just soccer. Like I know a lot right. of like people on the basketball teams and on like the baseball mm -hmm. teams and all the other athletic teams. Like UCCS is like really close with all their sports teams, and I think that's really cool. Yeah, absolutely. So. I agree with you guys. So you just some might say upset the number five ranked team in the nation last yeah. weekend. Now number nine ranked in the nation. They're coming back here though tomorrow for a rematch. Yeah. So can you talk a little bit about that matchup first? Let's go through last Friday's game when you beat them. Mm -hmm. What were the expectations going into that game? I mean, I'm sure you were yeah. confident, but did you expect to get that win I against mean, number five ranked team in the nation? It was one of those things that we could never expect to win, but it was just going in there with the mentality that we could win. That was the big game changer, because mm -hmm. if we come in there thinking we're going to lose right off the bat, there's no chance that we're ever going to win. So coming in there with a the mindset that we can win and that we could do anything this season, because we were on a four win streak and they mm -hmm. were undefeated. Right. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that just goes to show that nobody can stay undefeated forever. That's right. And so. Hmm. And Aaron, what was your take going into that game against Regis? Well, we knew they'd be tough, obviously, but we executed a game plan that was set out for us. And even then, we had a few setbacks during the game, but we were able to persevere through those. Jake had a heck of a game. That's why he deserved that Offensive Player of the Week. And uh, we just kept taking it back at him and back at him, and we knew that we have the quality to upset any team that's in the national polls. We don't respect that unless they make us. Well, one thing I've mentioned on the show is I think sometimes what happens, you got a big matchup for your first game of the weekend. Sometimes teams tend to overlook the other matchup they have that weekend. But seemingly, you're game planning for both games every weekend. You had a tough matchup against number five ranked team in the nation, but you never overlooked your other matchup that you had. Uh, so what's that like, kind of gearing up for a big game against a really tough team that's undefeated, but knowing two days later you got another game that you still need to win? It's tough. I mean, physically, obviously, like the field players do a lot of work every single day and they <laughs> run. Like, I think the average for like a game is like seven to eight miles for a field oh, player. Wow. So that's, that's a, yeah, Charlie that's hasn't run, ran that, that in years. I think that just staying like physically, like, like take the right preparations, like eat right, like get the rest you need and do things like that and then like prepare yourself game by game. Like don't look too far ahead because then you might mess up on the games that are coming right mm -hmm. up in mm -hmm. the near future. Mm -hmm. So I think just like focusing game, game by game is like the best way to do it and look at it. So. That's such a political answer. <laughs> right. Take every game one by one. Yeah, I know, I know. That's what everybody is, usually says, but that's honestly the best way to look at yeah. it. Yeah. Well, it's working out well for you. Yeah. You're on a five-game winning streak. Yeah. Yeah. Aaron, what's that like for you? Kind of that preparation of knowing you got a huge game on Friday, and then a team that seemingly on paper should be an easier win, but you can't overlook that. Yeah, absolutely not. Complacency is your worst enemy when you're mm -hmm. playing soccer, truly, and especially after a huge win like that. Uh, it is hard to mentally collect yourself after everybody's cheering and everybody's extremely happy because we just knocked off the number five team in the nation. But to come back down and mentally prepare for that game is something we did together. And we all had another game plan and we went out there and executed it. And at the end of the day, that's what we're doing after every game. And, you know, just looking at these games and then just kind of looking at, you know, what has head coach Johnny Keene really brought to you guys? And, how has he made you better as a player? But also, you know, Johnny Keene, one of those uh, player coaches who really understands more than it's just a game. You know, you guys are students too. So really, how has head coach Johnny Keene influenced you guys? And, you know, and especially with this season, with five game winning streak, how does he keep pushing you guys to keep getting these wins? I mean, for me, one of the biggest things is like, obviously, I don't know if you heard, but he had a kid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, little Charlie, little <laughs> Charlie Keen. After, after we lost to Mines, like he didn't get to make it because of that. Mm. But after we lost to Mines, he came back in the locker room and he was like, he did remind us that like soccer is a game and it's meant to be fun. So I think that was one of the biggest turning points for me, like realizing that like, if, if it's not fun, like mm. why play? Like you know, there's you gotta have that joy and you gotta have that passion to like pursue every game and like to really try your best. And I think that he kind of installed that in, he, he really put that into the team's heart to think about that more. So I think that was really cool. Naren? 
Uh, just piggybacking off of what Dave said, being that he was a player, he understands that passion and that we all love this game and he loves the game just as much as us. And that being said, we all love to win. Mm -hmm. So those two combined, he just continues to create game plans that are going to set us up to showcase our talents and just be the better 11 on the field than the other team that day. And if we just continue to work and press through, that's the results will end up coming. Yeah, you know, Dave was talking about how, you know, soccer's fun. It's a, it's a fun game for you guys to play as well as it's almost a job. And you guys are all work, no play, but I doubt that. So on the field, <laughs> at practice, who's the jokester? Who's the clown on the field? Oh, man. Oh, Maybe uh, <laughs> Sam. Sam, Sam Gomez yeah. and okay. Keith, the couple of freshmen. <laughs> of course, it's the freshmen, <laughs> right? Freshmen, yeah. <laughs> You guys have to keep them in line, though, during we the do. right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're, you're joining in, Dave. You and Alex Reichler over there. Uh, maybe a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> the instigator. Yeah, That's exactly. I think instigator. Uh, okay, let's talk real quickly about the upcoming games because you're playing the same two teams who you just defeated last weekend, mm -hmm. this weekend. So let's talk about that quick turnaround. We talked about Regis already. You got them yeah. tomorrow night for the homecoming event. Mm -hmm. And then on Sunday, you got to play South Dakota Mines again, who you just played less than a week ago. So what's that turnaround like? Because um, typically, you don't see the same team back-to-back -back weekends. It's, it's weird. I mean, obviously, we saw them last week, so it's not like we don't know who they are. Right. But uh, I think that they're gonna, Regis is definitely going to come back with a chip on their shoulder. So I think preparing for that will be big. And then South Dakota, South Dakota was a hard trip just because it's like an eight hour drive mm -hmm. and we had heavy legs from Regis. So I think just preparing for that kind of the same way and resting and then coming to play. And it's nice because the, their, their field is a lot smaller than ours. So we'll actually be able to play more our game on our turf. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited for that. Hmm. And Aaron, what, what's your take on that same two teams back to back weekends? Yeah. So anytime you play a team twice it's, and you beat them the first time, it's going to be hard to repeat that. But that being said, I believe we carry a chip on our shoulder in that Regis might think the first game was a fluke and so on, but we really believe that we deserve that, we dominated that game, and we're going to come right back and do it again if, if we execute our game plans and outwork them. So once we get through that game, then South Dakota is another game where we just feel that our home court, the ball is popping even faster mm -hmm. and flying all around the field, and it's to our advantage. So. Uh, we think that that home court, home field advantage, the uh, 12th man of UCCS go. is going to be a big factor for this weekend. So does that mean you're not necessarily doing anything different? Or are you just going to keep playing your game? Because you know they're going to change some things up. They're on the losing side of things. They're looking to counterpunch. They're looking to take a round back. How do you win the fight overall knowing they're going to be making some of those adjustments? Do you do the same thing or do you counter adjust? Honestly, that one's up to coach. <laughs> and uh, and we'll, we will be trying just as hard and working our butts off, but uh, the tactics change a little bit. I, obviously, you don't come out there flat-footed against an opponent that's charging at you. Mm -hmm. um, but at this point, we've scouted them pretty well. That We've been scouted by them pretty well. Both teams know each other. We've been playing each other for a long time, and it's going to come down to who wants it, who works harder. So. So David, as the goalkeeper, seeing the entire field, the entire action, do you want to see the exact same thing in terms of your members uh, play, or do you, um, are you looking to see some adjustments I'm, from I'm the team? I'm looking for a little bit of adjustments. I mean, we talked a lot about how like Regis plays, and some of the things that we talked about were some of the ways that we conceded. Mm -hmm. So I hope that uh, we take that into heart this week, and we really understand what we, we, we what's coming our way. Mm -hmm. You know. So I think that offensively we did spectacular, but defensively we could have some stuff to work on. Aaron had a really good game. Tez had a really good game, and like our whole like team had like defensively had a good game. But there was just like those one or two second lapses that just stuff happened. So I mean, obviously you can't expect for a perfect game because mm -hmm. it is soccer and goals are gonna come. But like right. just whatever you can do to pre prepare to like get the shutout, you know, that's that's big time. <laughs> so. That sounds like the competitive nature of you to want to do even better. We're going to see how competitive you two are off the field, though. I'm really curious about that because we got a game for you to play. Oh, God. Are you ready? Okay. Are you ready? Okay. We're, we're going to play Name That Mountain Lion. We're going to see which one of you knows your fellow teammates and factors about this institution a little bit more than the rest. So we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, the millions and millions of listening lions are interested to see how well you two do here on Name That Mountain Lion. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. All right.
right, we're going to see who knows their mountain lions and UCCS better. When we come back from break, we'll be back right after this.